coronavirus has had a substantial impact on the film industry, especially movie theaters. The global film industry is facing billions of dollars in losses as theaters close and films are postponed amidst the coronavirus pandemic. The restrictions on production have hit Hollywood hard, leaving many workers unemployed or forced to work from home. Hi, Director Ali. Thank you for being here and giving us this great opportunity that we can talk to. My name is Zhou Yuliang. I'm the first year MFA film directing student at UCL Film School. And now we see that the pandemic continues to inflict chaos on the global film industry. How do you think the nature of film collaboration will change due to the pandemic? Uh, I, I'm as confused as anybody. I, I don't think anybody knows. Um, but I have mentioned one possibility is uh, virtual production. It's less physical, more imaginative. Uh, you create your own environment. Uh, I think we're heading that direction. I think we're gonna go through a revolutionary time in filmmaking, in creating story, in stimulate the, how we have to study the cognitive science, how we process image in our head to create story. I think just the rules of the game has to change. The methodology has to change. I think it's wrong to stick to the past, how we used to know, and why we're dealing with a new sensation, new uh, stories, uh, new ways of movie making. How about the film distribution? With the pandemic, I think there's gonna be unfortunately a while. Uh, it's very hard to gather people uh, safely, Right now, it's impossible. That's why everything shut down. Mm -hmm. and then we have a lot of free time. We want to <laughs> at the same time, ironically, uh, we, we want movies even more uh, than before. Why the production is shutting down? I, I think that's that's one way to deal with that. And also, I think the theater will change too. The normal business is going to be very very hard, but high end maybe high no, something. The words you slip all the way to the theater, make an effort to watch something on big screen. That has to be much better than just the just the image that's you know, even worse than uh, television. Content is better. The, you know, the quality is better. And why would people go to theaters? So you really have to upgrade. You have some something something new to get people into the the theater is like a temple for me. You need a congregation in a temple. I think that's going to be very difficult. So things has to change. How do your filmmakers deal with all these changes or challenges? I think uh, I really encourage you. It might not be in my generation, but to your generation, you should create something new and sensational uh, and explore new possibilities. I think that's the nature of the movie. That never changed. That's old fashioned which is keep creating new excitement, discovering new, finding that, that innocence we had, the, the original excitement to something. So when you did the Life of Pi, all the things on the sea were shot in the studio. And also for the first time for that movie, you try a lot of like new technology, like 3D filmmaking. So what can our filmmakers learn from that experience? I'm a very low tech person. Uh, things happened about 10 years ago, uh, over 10 years ago when I uh, made the Life of Pi, that movie. Um, I decided to do 3D and that requires digital film, filmmaking. Uh, so for the first time, uh, I was a, a diehard old fashioned filmmaker uh, and very low tech. But that's the first time uh, I get encountered with uh, digital filmmaking and dimensionalized movie making. So to see the, the three dimensional movie making, I have to change. To adjust to the digital filmmaking, which is the exposure to the look. Uh, which doesn't really have an aesthetic of its own. Uh, all we know is movie. That's all we know. Dimension, uh, two dimensional movie, square, you trust it. Like everything, I was thrown off. At the same time, I was making the most difficult movie. No, I forgot. 
Tiger, we got a kit, we got 3D, we got water, all the top notch difficulties uh, in a philosophical book, try to make, uh, make it very commercial and, and, and uh, uh, very, very commercial mainstream movie. Uh, so I was very perplexed. But after that movie, I, I got lucky. The movie was a success, got an Oscar and everything. <laughs> Uh, I got to think about how we make digital movie. We're into that era already. Right now, it's very difficult, but I see things are changing. We're heading that direction, and the pandemic really speed that up. But it's very hard to make the old movie the same old way. We gather hundreds of people, and theater is kind of dying, closing, <laughs> closing down. What do we do? I think the answer is the unknown. It, it got to create head to the unknown, and create something new. And you have to be doing something and watching something that's both familiar and unknown. Between wills and unwillingness, I think that's the sweet spot we want to dream. Uh, I, I think we're in the cusp of finding something new and I'm really looking forward to you young, young generations. Uh, just when you go ahead, Korea, you know, think, don't forget where we come from, like us old guys. Well, I really want to pass that along to you. I see myself a guinea pig like a pathway for, for you. Thank you, thank you so much. As Chinese Asian filmmakers, we would love to see more Chinese Asian films shown in Hollywood. Just like your film, The Wedding Banquet, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, perfectly show our culture to the world. And I was wondering, what kind of Chinese Asian film do you want to see more in the future? A uh, broader variation, good movies, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, the English language movie has become uh, established as the mainstream. So everything else is exotic. It's like offbeat. That's foreign films. Certain movie get to go in. I, I, I like to see big Chinese movies uh, that entertain the whole world. Uh, good movies that move your heart. You know, we, we did pretty good with the, uh, with the art house. I hope uh, big movies, variety of movies, mainstream entertainment, uh, to see human and normal human stories, uh, genre movies. Uh, let's do it. I think China has a great, great chance. Yeah. So, what should our Chinese Asian filmmakers should do to make a better film and also reach global audience in the future? I think it's important to be honest. I hope something free you from your creative power that you are more free to see yourself in an abstract way, more expressing yourself. You can find your audience, your connections. Uh, I think being honest is very important. I think it's important to be honest being an Asian. I think for Asian or my minority uh, to, to get to the broader, to, to get to the audience, broader or not, I think it's important in two, in two principles. One is you have to be specific, like who you are, the specificity. I think people like to see something different. And you also have to understand the common knowledge, the, 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 what's in common, all humanity, the big subjects. I think you need to hit the both of them. What's common, what's universal, and also what's specific. Uh, I, I think just, be honest with yourself and have a broad dream. You know, people, whatever the color is, they, when they watch me, they, they're not watching you, they're watching themselves. So you want to think about what you can share that inspire people, the audience, instead of they accept me as a minority. So what, what do I have to offer? To do that, you have to be very specific about your life experience, who you are. At the same time, you want to see the connection, how that connect with the people, not just you babbling your, your feelings. Thank you. But now the situation is that many, you know, many young filmmakers came to the U.S. to study film, including myself now facing great challenges and uncertain futures. So what advice would you give us relating to your study abroad experience at NYU? And do you have any outlook for a future career? Not really. I'm <laughs> it's, it's difficult. I, I know right now it's difficult. 
And I don't like the political situation we're in. No, uh, obviously, it's less friendly. But I, uh, I don't think any anybody anything stop uh, anyone to pursue dreams. If you have a dream, just keep at it. Uh, if it's a good movie, it's a good movie. That will change the world. That's all I can say to you. Don't let things uh, discourage you. I think they're, you got to look at life in a positive way. They are positive energy in the world. And even the chance of skimmer, you, you still have to shoot for it. That, that's my philosophy. Stay healthy. Mentally and physically healthy. You, you don't know how much it's going to take and when things are going to take. You can suck the energy out of you. So don't, don't waste it. it. Sure, Very true. And be wise about giving a shot. Thank you so much. I believe with your encouragement, uh, many young people, including myself, will keep moving with our dreams, keep making great movies. And we also look forward to see your next project in the theater soon. Thank you again.